Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another weekly grocery haul. So if you watched my last grocery haul when we were in Montana visiting, I kind of mentioned that my family is starting to go transition back into a plant-based diet and we were eating that way for a long time and we kind of started to get away from that and just started like introducing like dairy and meat back into our diet and we just want to get back to eating plant-based. So this haul is basically completely plant-based. So I hope you guys enjoy. But before we get into the haul, I'm going to go ahead and share what we are having for meals this week. So on Monday, we are having vegan tacos. Tuesday will be Louisiana beans and rice. Wednesday will be white enchiladas. Thursday will be vegan stuffed shells. Friday is pizza and movie night. Saturday will be leftovers. And Sunday will be black bean and salsa soup. So if there are any of those recipes that you would like me to make into videos, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. And as usual, I will take the most popular request and make videos from those. So the first thing I picked up is a package of tortillas. And I mostly got these just for our lunches throughout the week. We like to make like bean burritos and things like that. So that is what these will be for. And for tacos this week, I also got some taco shells. I've started to get like the super stuff for tacos because as my boys are getting older, they're starting to eat more than one. And I feel like we were going through like a regular 12 pack in like one sitting. And so I've been getting started to get like the super stuff for tacos. And I feel like you can fit a lot more filling into these. And then that way everyone's eating like one, maybe two, but we can definitely get by with just one box. And then I picked up two bunches of bananas. I get bananas in pretty much every haul. My kids love eating bananas throughout the week. And we also add them into our smoothies and I will freeze them and make banana ice cream out of them. So we go through bananas every single week. And then I picked up two packs of romaine hearts. Each of these packs comes with three romaine hearts. So I will just chop this up today and then probably in the middle of the week and we will just have salads throughout the week kind of like ready to go. And I've shared this before, but a big question that I get all the time is how I prepare my lettuce and how I get it from like not going brown throughout the week. But what I do is I will cut it up, wash it, dry it, and then I'll kind of put it into a little container. But on the bottom, I actually put a little layer of paper towels, just kind of like folded in half on the bottom. And then you put your lettuce on top of that. And the lettuce or the paper towel will really just like soak up a little extra of the moisture. It won't dry out your lettuce, but it will keep it from going bad and going soggy or getting all brown and wilted. So you definitely can get by with like chopping it up and making it last like almost an entire week that way. So the next thing I got was a big bunch of kale. This is going to be going into our green juices that we are starting to get back into making green juices. And then it will also go into our green smoothies. And then I got some celery and the celery will be used in some of our meals this week, along with putting it into our green juices and also probably a little bit for snacking. The next thing I got is some apple cider. This is the raw unfiltered organic apple cider vinegar. This is the Bragg brand, but I am all out. I just ran out like right before we left, I think but I'm starting to try and drink this stuff. I know it has like crazy good health benefits, so I'm trying to kind of like incorporate it into my daily diet. So I've been going through it a little bit more quickly, but that is what I got this for mostly. And then I got one sweet potato. I only got one because we actually did get Bountiful Baskets over the weekend. So we have a little bit of produce at home, but not a ton that's going to like really carry us throughout the week. So I just went ahead and got one. And I don't entirely have a plan for this, but sometimes you just want something. And so I got a sweet potato. I'm either going to fry it up in my air fryer or my oven for some sweet potato fries or just kind of bake it, probably like cook it in my instant pot and have like a sweet potato. I don't know. I'll figure out a way to use it 
it's gonna be delicious I love sweet potato and then I got one medium avocado and I do have one that I got in our bountiful baskets order over the weekend but I just wanted to have another one so that I could make some delicious guacamole to go on our tacos and if you haven't ever made guacamole before it's super easy all you do is just mash up your avocados if you want to make it a really easy like super quick way you can just get some pico de gallo from the store just in the little containers they have in the produce section and then mash up your avocados that way add a, like a little bit of salt and like maybe a little bit of lime juice and it's good to go it's so so delicious but if not if you just want to make it from scratch you can just chop up your own tomatoes chop up a little bit of onions some cilantro lime juice and of course your avocado add a little bit of salt and it's that's it that's all there is to an avocado or to <laughs> a guacamole it's so so good so definitely try it if you haven't ever tried making homemade guacamole it's so much better than the store it's super good so the next thing I picked up is this little pack of sausages and this is the original field roast grain meat company brand and the type is the smoked apple sage but it is a vegan sausage so it's completely meatless we actually had this in Montana whenever we visited my parents and whenever we went out to my brothers and we had that for dinner there it was so good and it's just like a really easy way to have like a lunch if you don't have something to make you can always just cook these up so i decided to kind of get these for convenience i'm not entirely sure if we'll eat them this week or next week but i'm sure me and the boys will eat this for lunch at one point and i also got these again for another convenience meal just for lunches as we we're kind of like transitioning back into eating plant-based i wanted something really simple and this is just the crispy tenders like chicken and it's obviously not chicken, so it's just a meat-free version. But this is the Gardein brand, and we've tried some of their stuff before, and we really like it. So I just got these for like a quick lunch for the kids. If we're heading out and we don't have something like prepared in the fridge, I just wanted to have something on hand. And then I got seven mangoes, and these are actually on sale this week still for, I believe, 58 cents. But all three boys were with me this week, and they really wanted mangoes. They are like all of our favorite fruit. So since they were on a good deal, I decided to go ahead and pick some up and just enjoy them for snacking this week. And then I got two pieces of ginger root and these will mostly be going into our juices. I don't think I have an actual recipe to use with this this week except for into our juices. So that's what I got these for. I do have a few quick tips about ginger to share with you guys. So whenever you get some, go ahead and stick it into a baggie and stick it into your freezer and it will make it last so long. It's super nice to have it that way. And honestly, it makes it way easier to grate when it's frozen. So I really, really love doing that. And then another tip is when you have it in the freezer, instead of trying to cut the skin off or the peel off or whatever you want to say, you just take the back of a spoon and just kind of like scrape it off. And that is just the best way I've ever found to peel ginger. So enjoy those little tips. They've helped me out immensely over the years. The next thing we picked up was three cans of olives. These were a pretty good deal. I feel like they're always a good deal when coat they are under a dollar which I feel like is cheaper than I have ever see them pretty much anywhere else. So I just got three of them. They don't have like any actual use this week like to go into recipes, but I'll probably end up putting them on my kids' salads and sometimes they just like to snack on olives. So I just wanted to go ahead and get three of them. And then I got five lemons and these will go into lemon water in the mornings and then also into our green juices. And I picked up some seasoned fries. I don't really know when we're gonna use these exactly, but we will end up using them for lunches or with like a side with dinner. And then I got some salsa verde and this will be going into our white enchiladas during the week. And then I just got a small little bit of chipotle seasoning and this was in the bulk bins. I I love Winco's bulk bins, they are amazing. But I just wanted to go ahead and get a little bit because I needed some for our white enchiladas as well. And then I got some extra firm tofu and this will be going into our vegan stuffed shells for dinner this week. I also picked up a can of this beef TVP and TVP stands for texturized vegetable protein. So it's basically like a soy replacement for beef. But we used to use this stuff, not all the time, but when you really need beef it's really nice like it's a good substitute and even my husband like never used to notice when I would use this he just ate it right up and did not notice at all my kids don't notice and even I like have a way to cook it that you don't really notice that it's not beef so I really like using this if you're trying to stretch your dollar and you're not on a plant-based diet this is also a good option or a good option to like stretch out with your meat so that you're not spending so much because this is crazy cheap this is like I think around like $11 
for this huge number 10 can and this is all dehydrated or freeze dried and so you have to kind of like reconstitute it with water and this is what I'm going to be making our taco meat with this week. The next thing I got is this big carton of baby spinach and I'm going to be putting this into our smoothies and also our juices. I also got some cilantro and this is going to be going into my homemade guacamole. And then we got some tostada shells and these are going to go for lunches for my boys this week but we will just put some beans and toppings on and it will be a delicious lunch. I got two crowns of broccoli and I will be making my roasted broccoli with probably this bigger one and then with the smaller one we'll probably chop up and just put in two salads. Then I got four cucumbers and these will be going into our green juices. I also got two red peppers and these will be for my husband's lunches and also just snacking and salads. And I got two green peppers and these will be the same. They'll just be for my husband's lunches, snacking and salads as well. We have all been craving some berries and the strawberries were on a pretty good deal today. They were under two dollars and so we just got some for snacking. The blueberries were a decent deal, but we decided to go with strawberries today. They're kind of like everyone's favorites, and I'm just super excited for blueberries to be in season. We are getting so, so close. And then I got three of the one pound packs of organic carrots, and these will be pretty much going for lunches and snacking. Then we got a ton of gala apples. They are our very favorite apple and they are not on the crazy good deal that they've been like 78 cents a pound but they are still a dollar 19 and anywhere on a dollar i consider a good deal so we just got a bunch and these will just be for snacking throughout the week and the very last item that i got is just this almond chocolate milk we do love getting this stuff but when we have it in the house we definitely all kind of like gravitate towards it and try and drink this stuff so i don't get it every week just because there is like some sugar in here and so i try to just have like a regular white milk we do get the regular almond milk and then I've actually started making oat milk and I will leave that in an I card up here for you guys if you're interested in learning how to make it. It's super cheap and super convenient. So that is like the main milk that we're drinking now. So today we spent $82.41. And today I was really, really happy with the prices of everything. I felt like we got a ton of food. This is kind of like our restock haul because when we came home from vacation, we did not have like barely any food in our refrigerator. We did have some in our freezer and some in our pantry, but we didn't have like any fresh produce really or just the things that we kind of need to make a lot of our meals. So for being a restock haul, I felt like we did really good at being like around $80. That is what I typically spend in a week anyway. And I did get some extra things this week as well. Like I did get the big can of beef TVP and I got a few of like the vegan meats. So those were definitely like more pricier items. So I was really excited to be able to get those and still stay in budget. So I hope you guys enjoyed this grocery haul. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you are not already and also follow me over on Instagram and I will see you in my next one.